Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to show you how to deposit G-Cody in order to boost the APY of Cody deposits in the treasury. Before we get started, please keep in mind that this demonstration is performed in a dev environment, and the numbers shown may not be accurate and are subject to change. From within our Viper wallet, we're going to check our G-Cody balance by clicking on the Addresses tab. G-Cody won't be immediately visible, but if you see a 1 under the Tokens column where others say 0, just expand the wallet address to reveal your G-Cody balance. Let's go to the Treasury tab. From here, we can view the details of all of our Cody deposits. In this deposit, we can see our balance, which is 1,000 Cody, as well as the APY rewards accumulated so far. We can also see the current base APY, which is 4.27%. Click on Manage and then click on the APY Boost tab at the top. First, we have to select a G-Cody address in the From field. You'll be able to see the G-Cody balance available. You'll then need to select an address as a Cody fee source in order to pay for the deposit transaction fee. In the Amount field, either enter in the amount of G-Cody you want to deposit or use the slider to choose a percentage. Please note that depositing G-Cody at this stage has no risk of liquidation. There is no locking period, no multipliers, and is only used to boost the APY of Cody deposits. You'll notice here it says there's a maximum of 1,000 G-Cody allowed to be deposited. This is because the APY boost function won't allow more G-Cody than Cody to be applied to a single treasury deposit. If we use the slider to choose 50% G-Cody, or 500, you'll notice these fields to the right beginning to load. Soon enough, you'll see the total APY, which will improve from 4.27% to 21.36%. Please keep in mind that this demonstration is performed in a dev environment, and these numbers may not represent real-world figures. You'll also see the G-Cody deposit amount, as well as all the fees associated with this transaction. We then click on Boost and wait for our deposit request to be submitted. Click Done to go back to the Treasury page. Going back to our deposit, we can see the transaction is pending confirmation. After a few moments, the transaction goes through and the first thing we notice is the APY Boost field update. You can see the amount of G-Cody deposited, as well as the maximum boost possible. APY has also updated and it now includes a breakdown of what makes up the total amount. If we scroll back up, we can see both Cody and G-Cody amounts that we've deposited in the Treasury. To withdraw, we go back to our deposit once again and click Manage. We then click on the Withdraw tab at the top. The first field is where you're going to select a withdrawal address. Below that, you'll notice there are two options for withdrawal, Cody under Amount and G-Cody under APY Boost. Let's say we want to withdraw only our G-Cody and leave the Cody deposited. Under the APY Boost section, we'll type in 500, which is the full amount of G-Cody deposited. And you can see some details loading on the right, including fees and the new APY, if we choose to go ahead. Clicking on Withdraw submits the action. And after we click Done, we can again check the progress from the Treasury page. So what happens if you try to withdraw Cody from a deposit that has the maximum amount of G-Cody boosting its APY? Choosing a different deposit, you can see that there is an exact 1 to 1 ratio of G-Cody and Cody. This means that any withdrawal of Cody will trigger an equivalent amount of G-Cody to be withdrawn at the same time. You can see that by selecting 50% Cody in the withdrawal, 50% of the deposited G-Cody is also selected. This, however, doesn't apply the other way around. You can withdraw some or all of your G-Cody without affecting the Cody deposit. There just has to be equal or more Cody than G-Cody in the deposit at any given time. For now, we're going to select 50% of our G-Cody, 50% of our Cody, and we'll hit Withdraw. You can also boost the APY of any of your program deposits like the G-Cody airdrop campaign. Simply click the Programs tab from within the Treasury, and the interface is the same for normal Treasury deposits. Once again, deposits that have been boosted will appear on the Treasury page after the transaction has completed. And that's it for how to use G-Cody to boost the APY of Treasury deposits. For further guides, please check the link in the description, and as always, stay Cody.